Whatever time of day it is to you and welcome back to the channel. Today is finally the day that I am going to do a full review on the World Map Lego Arts set. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, as you can see here, I have finished it and it is in the Europe combination. If you are curious what it looks like in the other two combinations, here are pictures of those two combinations before the set had its frame put on. From a distance, this is a very nice set and it comes across well in this video, I think. You can see clearly all the countries and land and you can see it separated clearly from the sea and in the sea itself you can clearly see the different patterns that the different ocean ridges create with, with the Pacific ridge here the mid Atlantic ridge coming round here and the Indian Ocean ridge here the colour usage when looked at from a distance is very good I find. I would talk about how difficult this was for a colourblind person to do like myself but I've talked about that enough and if you're curious about my colourblindness here is a video I made about it. Whilst this map is very accurate there are some places that could do with some improvements. Most notably Greenland here as that is a bit squashed up in my opinion and could do with being extended to the south or north. Going back to the combinations briefly, there is a slight error when doing a combination not Europe based. The problem occurs where Alaska joins onto Russia when you have those two panels next to each other. As you can see here, there is a white dot of land right here. And every other single piece of white land always has a blue dot next to them to give a nice silhouette on the eastward side of the country. However, when this panel is put next to this panel, there is no blue dot for that white dot over there to join onto which is just a slight oversight I think Lego made. Looking at the back build now, as you can see all the panels as well as having Technic pins have, have 2x6 plates in the horizontal joins but there is nothing in the vertical joins or where four panels join together to create a 4x4 four four zone. This does create quite a weakness in the build as it can flex if I demonstrate here like so it's very wobbly in the vertical build. To hang this art on the wall you only have two hook pieces here and here which judging by the weight of the build might not be enough to fully support it. So you might want to either order some more of these hooks online or take another hook from one of the smaller arts such as the Sith art which already has two but would probably be fine with one hook. If you have any of the art sets that is. So now let's go for a physical closer look at the set. I apologise for how shaky the camera is now going to become because I am holding the camera rather than it being on its stand. So starting from this corner and slowly working our way across. There's Greenland which as I said is a bit squidged up in my opinion. There's the United Kingdom made up of only 12 white studs which will become relevant later there's all of Russia and some other parts of Asia in China, Japan 
India, Saudi Arabia, all the countries of Africa, Central America, Hawaii, up there, up by itself. That tiny island is Galapagos Island, I reckon. Yeah, South America, the bottom of Africa and Madagascar, bottom of India and Sri Lanka, Indonesia and Australia, New Zealand with its tiny islands around there. A lot of sea. I think this dot was the South Sandwich Island or something like that. Then the Falkland Islands next to it. And then right at the bottom we have Antarctica going pretty much all the way across the bottom of the map. As you can possibly just make out here I have arranged it so that all the land has the words Lego all orientated the exact same way. This is partly because I think this just looks nice and it was rather helpful when putting all the panels together to know which way was the correct way round. The building of the frame for this set was rather energetic for me to build. This is because I didn't have space on the table that I was building it on to display it fully. So I had to build it on the floor. This resulted in me having to move quite a lot around the edge of the mat or leaning over to get the bits go into their places. So it was quite a workout. Also in the instructions, after it had you put the forky panels together, it had you flip it over, which was a very dangerous thing to do, as at this point it was extremely weak, only being held together by the Technic pins. If you have this set, I would recommend that when you are putting the panels together you do it upside down so that you don't have to flip it over without the back grey 2x6 pieces on that I showed you earlier. And if you do do it the correct way then flip it over to put these 2x6 on, get help. You would probably not be able to flip it over and keep it intact by yourself. I've noticed online that people say that this set cheats in becoming the largest set. I'm not really sure how you can say that personally. Sure, it's only really made up of dots, of which there are 10,240 of them, of, of the set being 11,695 pieces in total. So there is over a thousand pieces in the frame and the clipping together segment itself. There is also rather a lot of leftover pieces, as you can see here, particularly number 10, number 10 pieces here, which used hardly any. And there is also, as you can see, rather a lot of white land pieces left over as well. Sure this is for customising the map ocean to how you want, but I don't see why there is so much land pieces left over. So is this set worth the £229.99 pence that it is sold for on the Lego site. I would say if you like world based things and displaying a world map this is a very good price for it.
the build I found wasn't too tedious. And in the end it creates a very nice display piece. I do imagine it would become a little tedious if you do more than one of the 40 panels in a sitting. For me personally it took anywhere between half an hour and an hour to do one panel. Which I did in the evening every day unless I was at work in which case I wasn't mentally concentrating enough to build it correctly. So I didn't. Could this set have been a little smaller? Uh, I'm not really convinced it could have been. This is because, as I pointed out earlier, the United Kingdom already only has 12 studs to it. So if the whole map was much smaller, then the United Kingdom would pretty much not exist, along with other countries such as New Zealand down here, which is has very few studs to it, and Hawaii up here, also only having three studs, so would probably not exist if this map was much smaller. Overall, I would probably give this set mm, an 8 out of 10, but if I had done this differently and built multiple panels at a time, this score probably would have come down a little bit. So, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I shall see you when I see you. Goodbye.